Black Adam, Black Adam, do 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 do. Watch Black Adam. Watch Ron Atkinson if you don't know that reference. Um, Black Adam. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, I've heard a lot of people say different ways to interpret this. My best interpretation after seeing this film last night is this. This is not the Black Adam, to paraphrase the Dark Knight, this is not the Black Adam movie we deserve. It's not even the movie we deserve. But this is the movie we need right now. It's been a doldrum of movies ever since, like, mid-August. And we have been needing a comic book or just popcorn flick blockbuster in the cinema. Is this a perfect movie? Hell no. The script is all is messy as hell. The directing is all over the place. It's there are characters that should not exist in this movie. Like, uh, there are, there is a lot of there's a lot of things where you go. In hindsight, you're going, well, why didn't you just do this? Well, this is stupid. Well, wait, no, where where have these guys been? Like, what's going on here? But at the same time, you're like, I had a lot of fun in this movie, even with hindsight being 2020 about some of the stuff I'm iffy on. There's a lot to like in this movie, and it's it's a movie that does know what it is, at least. It's not pretending to be super deep or really trying to have any sort of political message or anything like that. It is, hey, look, there's Black Adam. We're going to give you a kind of synopsis on his background a little bit. And then we're going to basically just go into the movie. And that is what we have to go with. And that's that's what the movie is. Uh, look, it's it's choppy at points, but the action's a lot of fun. There are the one-liners, the characterization. Dwayne Johnson just kind of owns this role. He's been wanting to make this movie for a long time, and you can see it. it, it you can see that he is just dominating as a presence on screen. The Justice Society is a lot of fun as well. It's actually cool to see those characters on the big screen for the first time. Hawkman. Hawkman takes a bit to grow on you, but he grows on you pretty quick. Pierce Brosnan owns Dr. Fate. Oh my god, he was great as Dr. Fate. He might have been, honestly, I might have liked him a bit more than even uh, Dwayne Rock Johnson because he just had a... Because he was... Well, Dwayne Johnson still has this charm to him. He's trying to be a lot more stern, whereas Dr. Fate is... Uh, you know, an old sorcerer. It's like, oh, I've been around the block before. Well, you know, uh, you know, a little quippy one-liner here or there and all that. <laughs> I just, I just liked him. Cyclone and Asmasher, they're a lot of fun too. Uh, it's kind of like the more younger uh, kids on, uh, <laughs> group, younger members of the squad. I, look, they, they're just, I like that dynamic alone. That dynamic alone can wor work great. Uh, the effects work is a little all over the place, but generally speaking, it's pretty good effects. The action sequences are a lot of fun. There's, um, particularly when the JLA, Justice, League, uh, Justice uh, Society of America, and Black Adam first duke it out. That's a lot of fun. I like, by the way, with Dr. Fate, how uh, they distinguish him from a Dr. Strange. Because he is, in essence, he is DC's version of Dr. Strange. Uh, and... Any, any non-comic uh, reader or, uh, you know, major, you know, people who just go to these movies for fun, don't really pay much attention, be like, is that Doctor Strange? Why does he look different? No, though, they make, they make his magic look different. They make him look different. So, and they kind of, they really do kind of show, it's like, oh, no, these are very, they're similar, but they're different characters. Um, with that said, though, oh, by the way, in the mid credit scene, I'm not going to actually Look, it's out there what the mid credit scene is. I'm not going to say it, though. Just on the off chance someone watching this has not seen it. But, yeah, that was a really cool... It was cool to see that post credit scene happen. I'm, gl I'm glad I could make that happen. With all that said, though, this film is, is choppy. It is messy. Um, particularly, it's a, not a very good script. Uh, there is a kid character that you don't get in the trailer that's in this movie who is kind of, who him and his mom are kind of the grounding anchor for Black Adam's humanity, and you didn't, first off, you didn't really need, the, you, you could have had the mom character there, she's kind of important, but you could have had other ways of getting her to do what she does, uh, getting what she does to happen, 
The kid, I get what they were going for, but that doesn't make it any less annoying. This kid was annoying. Like, seriously annoying <laughs> to deal with. Anytime you start talking, he's like, can someone just shut this kid up, please? And it's... I say that knowing what those characters are going through. And there is good commentary to be had in, like, the comic uh, world about, okay, yeah, you guys are superheroes, but our country has been suffering for God knows how long, and you have not done a damn thing all the while just sitting out there, you know, in the world and basically just doing what you're doing. Um, I mean, why, where have you been this whole time? And they, there is an, there is a, if you think on it, there is an explanation at least why the JLA doesn't get involved. Uh, they explain the JLA explains what they actually do. It's one sentence, but they do explain what they do. Uh, so you can at least make that argument. But still, I, I do. So I do like the socio political commentary there. But in terms of the real world commentary, I think they're trying to get across. I'm like, uh, no, no, we don't need that. Um, it, the humor works a lot of the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Anything to do with a kid, I just wasn't a big fan of. Uh, anything to do with the, the mom's brother, though. I did like the mom's brother. He was pretty fun. Um, so yeah. And then the villain. Yeah, the villain's not very good. The, the villain's got some fun action. He, honestly, the, you've seen the, you've, he is in the trailer, like, briefly. Two, there's like two brief clips of um, so this is not a huge spoiler. Anything I'm bringing up is in the trailers. Uh, there, <laughs> the, the, the look of him, he looks kind of like a discount. No, nah, not a discount. That's not all right. He looks kind of like a slim down, given legs version of Jafar from the new Aladdin movie. I will admit, I did like the new Aladdin, but the Jafar genie did not look good. Um, it looks kind of like that. Better, but not by a large margin. And he's got some fun fights, um, but he's just a... He is such a no-nothing villain. Um, so, yeah. Uh, with that said, uh, it's still a fun time. It has issues, definitely. Um, like I said, the pacing... The, not the pacing, but the, the comedy is a little hit or miss. Um, it, the script is not very good, if I'm going to be honest. It is structured a little haphazardly, to be sure. Uh, there was a couple other things that came to mind that I kind of blanked on them. I've got a bit of a headache right now. It just suddenly came on for no reason. So, I am I'm trying to get as many of the videos i got to either do today or pre-record. I only got pre-record my what if for tomorrow. But if you have a headache, particularly one of those, like, you're t suddenly tired or dehydrated headaches or whatever... And it's like right behind your eye, like right there, which is what I have right now. You, If you've had that type of headache, you know that what I'm feeling right now ain't great. Uh, but I'm trying to be um, cognizant. I'm trying to be coherent. But no, look, is this going to be winning awards? Hell no. Is this even a very good movie? I don't, I'd say it's an okay movie. But is this a fun movie? Is this a movie that you can go and just have a really good time at? Yeah, I'll say that. I, I, I definitely say it's a fun one, and I do recommend seeing it. Uh, it will definitely be one number one this week, at least. Uh, I, I have no doubt it won't be number one, or it will be number one. So we'll see what happens. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks next time. Have a good one.